the traffic. Me better hope. I was ready to go. Oh no, no, you yeah, were Yeah, you're not. all trying to get your hair no, done and you stuff. Were not. Yes, I no, was. No, you were not. I was. What's up, guys? Hey, we got something crazy going on today. I'm supposed to be going to film a uh, tree removal, but it's like 100 degrees out today, and so the man, Kevin Ham, messaged us and said that he wants to take the crew to go get them some new work shoes. You know, um, I do like marketing for the company, and I do videos, and I do a few estimates. I don't really need work shoes. I might not look like it, but I skateboard a little bit. I'm gonna try to uh, see if I can get myself some new skateboard shoes. So I got my wife Janine with me in the car today. Shoes today. I'll tell you, my wife she loves new shoes. Like that's her thing. Like probably that's like her jam. Like that's probably what she's best at in the world is picking out shoes, right? Pretty much. Did you I just found my wife in her natural habitat. She loves, she loves shoe shop. You messaged Kevin to let him know that we're arriving at 8.59. I did. Did he say anything back? No. Maybe we should add a smiley face to that so it makes it seem like 8.59, we're on time, instead of like 8.59, we're running a little bit late. I asked, what tone are you portraying? I said, are we worried? Are we happy? Are we like, woohoo? Hold on, can I do the party face? The man, Kevin Ham, just showed up. The boss, Kevin. Here we, we got are. A question for you, buddy. We're at the shoe box. I don't work in the field, so can I get some skateboard shoes? My question is, what are skateboard shoes going to do to improve sales? So skateboarding helps my men it helps me mentally, and so I'll be in a better mood. And when I'm in a better mood, I'm smiling, and then it's going to be easier to sell stuff. And Bill, the head estimator, he wants to get cowboy boots. You know, the ability of the human mind to rationalize is endless. But, you know, there's no way you're getting skateboard shoes. <laughs> I'm gonna figure this out, you guys. What do you think? I like them. Timberland, insoles, arch support. I think we found a winner. Comfy, light. Mm -hmm. How much are those boots? Two ten. Two hundred and ten dollars. Yeah, you're not gonna find any of the safety toe boots for much under two. Hold up, you guys. <laughs> the boots are two hundred dollars. I didn't know that. You didn't know that? No. Oh, yeah. I had no idea they were that much. How many crew members do we have here? Ten. Plus sales and you and Dang, Lisa. Kevin's Lisa, about to. I don't think Lisa's getting steel toed up. I'm not gonna get steel toed. Let me get skateboard shoes. Oh, get the shoe box. Good. No. Come on, man. I want find some more some. hippie sandals. How about I'm, this? I'm gonna get some sandals. That's what you need to get. Keen. Let's just find the most expensive yeah. shoes in the store and sell them on eBay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, Taylor, I'm just gonna switch the, the heir to the Ham's Arbor Care fortune. <laughs> right? Taylor Ham, right here, the that's son of right. Kevin Ham. <laughs> He's the one that's gonna be GCI taking Vegas. care of us. <laughs> yeah. What you got? Yeah, I was called. I was oh, called. those aren't new. Those are old ones. No, those are old. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was called my dad in the mag or my dad was called me in a magazine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I actually saw that. Yeah. I did see that. Uh -huh. Yeah, so in the new, um, what's that magazine? TS TCIA. TCIA magazine that talks about our accreditation, they mixed you up. Yeah, they put his picture in for me. Yeah. Makes me look that. good. They also He's listed our YouTube me, channel as something that wasn't it. <laughs> but it was still a cool article, right? <laughs> it was a cool article. <laughs> 
You got some boots picked out, or are you just gonna uh, just wait, chilling? I'm waiting for him. To All right. I'm, I'm gonna go and go buy some shoes. They've, they've got some, some geriatric style here for you. You think these are the shoes that I need? I think you need some of those. You're getting a little bit old. It's yeah. Getting it's really hard for me to tie my it's own laces. Can you ever skate anymore? Hey, Kevin. Yeah. Hey, I just found out that work boots are like two hundred dollars. Yeah. I had no idea they were so expensive. And and what are skateboard skate shoes? Skate shoes are 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 like way less, like a quarter of the price. So that means I could buy four pairs of skate shoes, or or one pair, and then I let you buy. Them. <laughs> One pair of skate shoes. All right, I think we can make this happen. All right, I think it's a win-win now. Now you just talk. Trying to get Zoom. We're trying. I'm trying to talk here. No. Everybody quiet on the set. She told me to be practical. I'm trying to zoom Katie in. She's the. What's Katie's position? What's your position? What's your official title? She wants me to be practical. It's like, well, I do. We're having a, a glitch. Yeah. It's like the internet's glitching. Office, Office administrator. administrator. Oh, right. Here we go. There she is. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I have Say hi. Yeah. Am I supposed to be recording this? I like your shirt, Justin. I haven't yeah. seen it. you in a Oh, thank, thank you. Sure. Thanks. I don't know. Yeah, you can record it. You know how to record it. Let's just see your face. Now she's your face. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Nice to meet you. <laughs> your voice is so like familiar, but coming out of your face is weird. <laughs> coming out of my face is weird. Everything that comes out of my face is weird. <laughs> He's not lying. All right. Good. Nice to meet you. <laughs> well, Bill's going to get some dress shoes. Yeah. Dress so shoes? you can look real professional. I thought you were getting cowboy boots. My wife won't let me come home with cowboy boots. Yeah. So, um, it's supposed to be practical, so. Uh, golf shoes. Golf would shoes. Been, would have been practical. <laughs> but she won't. She won't, she won't think the no, golf shoes. She won't Listen. see that as a business thing. Right. Have you ever Although actually should. taken a client golfing? Yes. You have? Yes. For real? For real. To get the sale? Well, not to get the sale, but. To just take you know, it. It worked out. It helps. Really? <laughs> okay. Sure. Well, that's a good tip then. I don't know how to golf. Well, don't uh, so I'm learning how to do estimates right now, and Bill's our number one lead estimator. Just don't crushing it, knocking it out of the park. Just don't pay your customer to golf. And he Let said that win. he takes his clients golfing Stop sometimes. Golfers. Yeah. I have no idea how to golf. I could Nor take, I. I, I could take a client then. fishing. I there could take go. a client skateboarding. Fishing's even better. I could. I could take a mini golfing. I know. I know. What are the ladies buying? What are you getting, Katie? What are you gonna get? Cowboy boots, or you could get the, that cute little Aztec number that I showed you. I will never So Katie, Katie said no to these. I suggested these. She said no, so it's okay. My feelings aren't hurt. <laughs> I don't like lots of color and craziness. I need to play something practical that will match all the So we're in Wisconsin right now, in Black Earth, Wisconsin. That's where the shoe store is if you want to come. Katie happens to live in you know, New Braunfels, Texas, and takes care of all our back office uh, stuff. And she does a wonderful job. And so, you know, she needs proper shoes to be at home working on the computer, taking care of all of her back office stuff. Uh, if she's uncomfortable, then her attitude might be affected or whatever. So she needs a proper pair of shoes for that activity. And we're gonna get them for her. You don't look like bowling no, shoes. No, these are, they're kickball shoes. Kickball. Kick <laughs> <laughs> now I've asked a lot of people this question today and no one's given me a straight answer. Okay. And that is which one of these skate shoes Will help me land a kickflip. An old guy? Yeah. <laughs> Which uh, shoe? I know nothing about. Maybe skating. this. Maybe the black knees. It keeps going, coming back to the black knees. Ooh, these are. I don't know if you guys know this, but my wife has one natural, like really good quality, and it's shoe shopping. I'm really Dang, these shoes are two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars? I saw Janine looking at three hundred dollar sandals. Uh, yeah, she Don't probably worry. shouldn't She's get not something more than the boots. Yeah. Twenty minutes. I'm I'm finding my running after the grandbaby shoes. 
<laughs> but it kind of like that Very pair of Nikes shot. over there. So you see that? Do you like the white? The Which white ones the, do you like? The white with the black. This one? Yeah. Oh, let's see. Is that sharp? Let's look at these together. Okay. I'm just not sure about the taupe. Try, on. try them on and see which one balance. which one is you. Okay, well, you know? I don't even have socks. So tiny and teeny weeny. They look different when they get to be your size. Like, you know, what size is that? I can't read it. Can you? Justin, might, you might need to read this because we don't. Well, I don't have good eyesight yeah. either. Yeah. Yeah. You can, you can. I don't have nearsighted vision. Six. Is it a six? I'm going to go with a six or an eight yeah. or a nine. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the three oh, ones. Oh, oh, that didn't fit. I think I actually think I have cardboard in here. <laughs> That's oh. one of the reasons it didn't fit. Let's try this again. Okay. No, it still uh, doesn't work. Well, she'll just have to go get the right size. Yeah. It's just the one off the shelf. Black or silver? Black. Black or black, silver? Black. Black. Yeah. Okay. You guys all say black? Yeah. Black. Okay. Yeah. Black. All right. Black. I, I say black. It was unanimous. Black? Everybody says black. All right. So we, Lisa, did you get one? Uh, did you find yours? Okay, so did. they didn't have my nana, my nana running shoes, so I'm gonna have to do the little slip-on, which will work. I can throw them off if we go wading in the, you know, lake. So. I found a bird. <laughs> Look. It says it will bite, so keep your fingers out of the cage. I will bite, keep fingers out of cage. Babe, let's test this theory. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hey. Ah. All right, so, so far, we don't know. See the at the end. So far, we're at, they owe us $29.50. <laughs> <laughs> and we got the quench and then the the one. Do not forget that gong. Right. Yeah. Oh, wait, you got the total? Anyone want to guess? It's the total? Okay. Everybody guess okay. the total. Okay. Three, well, let's get the three pair of boots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 3,000. What do you say? 3,500. 3,500. 3,300. 2,700. 2,400. 2,400. You can't guess twice. I guessed 24 the first time. Okay, what do we got? 24, 2458. Whoa! Oh my god, and I didn't even go over. That's good. You're the jack. Yes! <laughs> well, I got a raise for that, right? I thought you were leveraging me for a second pair of shoes. So I thought I'd remind you about the computer. <laughs> I ordered um, hot dogs and onion rings. I don't have my onion rings, so that's all right. Oh, is there an extra oh, onion ring yet? You. Oh, you got my onion rings? Okay, perfect. Let's get a picture of me eating this hot dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Well, guys, thanks for all your hard work and everything. Uh, you know, a couple things that led up to this event. You know, Eli and I were down at that Executive Arborist Conference and a couple guys threw out some ideas of different things they were doing for employee engagement. And, and you know, while we were there talking about employee engagement, you guys were getting like really good reviews, 10 out of 10 reviews from people. And in the reviews, it specifically talked about how you were engaged on the job. You know, it wasn't just, oh, my yard was clean. Oh, the crew worked so well together. You know, it was specific to how you guys work together. So time and again, you're always impressing people. And you know, our core values, we, we got, you know, I exist to set people free to more abundant life. So doing an event like this fits that purpose. You know, we can spread a little abundance among you guys, get you some boots, get you some food, have some good times. Uh, you know, servant leadership. Of course, you guys exhibited that. You know, while we were gone, you were you were putting it forth and serving. And you know, this is a good way for us to to give back to you. And and then uh, extreme ownership. Eli and I were looking at each other and thinking, well, how can we take ownership in maintaining a good culture here? 
and and keeping what we have alive. And you know, this seemed to fit fit that value real well. And then, of course, abundance. You know, we a lot of people might look at something like this and they say, well, well, gee, you know, twenty five hundred dollars of boots and a whole day off. you know what a whole day off. I mean, what's the opportunity cost of us taking a whole day off? I mean, we can do ten grand, right? Well. A scarcity mentality might say that costs, but an abundance mentality says no. That that is an investment, and that that will come back in, in many fold. Because when employees are not engaged, what's the result of a guy given four hours out of eight for six months? What's that cost, right? And so you you got to think about all these things, the big picture, not just the small picture. And, you know, we can do an event like this and, you know, we all have fun together and it just kind of, you know, breeds good camaraderie. I mean, I'm amazed sometimes that you guys texting at 7.30, 8 o'clock on a Saturday night and there's three or four of you popping in, you know. It's like some of you are probably like, man, would these guys just have a weekend? But, you know, other guys are kind of having fun with it, you know. It at least points to some good, good culture here and we're really grateful to have that, you know. And, and we set some pretty big stretch goals for this year that were more than double of what we did last year and you know that's still like a way stretch goal but we're we're way farther along than we've ever been and we're not even at the midway point of June 30th here yet and so you know we've got a great chance of, of doubling what our revenue was last year and you know we don't just do that for revenue say I mean we go back to what our values are and we're, we're trying to serve as many clients as we can serve, and we're trying to create an environment for, for people to come in and, and be those servants and have a, a good time doing it. And you, know, you guys are all playing a part in that. And, and the bigger we make this organization, you know, the more people we serve and the more people we have on our team. And we can give somebody a good atmosphere to be involved with the team with. And so we're looking forward to the rest of this year. And, you know, we've, we've always got a hiring thing out. You know, if you, if you know anybody that might fit our culture, always, you know, point them our way and we can work them in and, and see, you know, if they're truly a fit. And we're, we're excited for what we got going here and we just really appreciate each and every one of you. So thanks a lot and uh, let's have a good rest of the day. Playing the game of trees